Hello everybody, good morning. It's me, Moses. Not Scary Larry today, this is not paranormal, so if you're looking for paranormal, uh, you may want to leave. This is about going to be about vaping. I made one other vaping uh, video a long time ago, but this is a, a new one. I'll tell you why I'm making it. Uh, I've got a way over 300 subscribers now, and uh, I've made a lot of friends since I started doing this. A lot of people uh, are regulars that watch my videos, and as I've said before, this is not necessarily just a paranormal channel, but whatever happens to turn my crank, I get an urge to make a video, I make a video. So, this one's about vaping. So if you're not interested, I wish you would hang around if you're not interested, because uh, you may learn something, and I may uh, just possibly get you to try it if you're a smoker and that's why I'm making this I want to invite all my friends that are smokers that still smoke cigarettes to please stop and start vaping give it a try I'm not trying to lead anybody astray uh, the biggest and number one benefit is it may possibly save your life uh, I know there's still a lot of controversy about it. The big politicians are in on this, of course, and uh, they're all up in arms about, oh, let's ban this shit, and it's unproven, nobody knows if it's good or bad, and blah, 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 blah. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> politicians are politicians. Politicians are out for them, for themselves, the politicians. Anything to make them look good. <coughs> But you know how politicians are. If uh, they get in the bandwagon, oh, let's ban this, ban this, and then it, it turns out they find out that it's, it's a good thing, then, you know, politicians never say nothing that they can't reverse their opinion on and still look good after they do it. But uh, big cigarette tobacco companies are behind a lot of these politicians. You know, money talks and shit walks. And... Uh, Sorry for the French, but you know how I am. I tell like it is. I don't pull any punches. I don't pull any words. I'm real, and I talk like I talk any other time. Anyway, uh, yeah, these these uh, cigarette companies are losing billions of dollars every year. Vaping now is a multi-billion dollar industry, and it's growing. And uh, smoking is dropping. And, of course, the politicians and shit, they want to lump vaping in with smoking. And it's not smoking. It's nothing like smoking. It has nothing a damn thing to do with smoking. But they want to lump it in with smoking. Why? They can levy the same damn taxes on you for vaping as they do the damn smoking. I mean, how much does a pack of cigarettes cost? How much do they really cost if you take all the taxes off them? How much of the, how much of the price of taxes go to the state? How, many of the, how much of the price goes to the federal's? tax. I mean, it's a damn joke. It's just a legal way for the government to rip your ass off. And you're paying all that money for them cigarettes to kill yourself. I mean, it's like going into a damn doctor, uh, doctor death and paying this man to anesthesia you permanently because that's what cigarettes can do for you. I got a lot of videos that I could show you of a robust person in their 30s and I can show you a picture of them two months later and they're laying in their deathbed like a skeleton and they die a bad death <clears throat> and cigarettes can do this for you uh, I'll tell you my story I quit smoking 30 years ago or 25 years, something like that. I started smoking when I think before I even was in junior high. May have been even been pre teenager, like maybe 12, 13. I, I started smoking and I never quit for a long, long, long time. And when I finally did quit, I quit cold turkey because back then there was no patch, there was no Z Z Zentex or Zantex or whoever the hell it is. And personally, I wouldn't want to take that anyway. You ever, you ever see that ad on TV? 
and how it tells about it. You may, if you, if you have thoughts of suicide and shit like that, I'm not taking no damn shit that's gonna make me want to kill myself or, over stopping smoking. I mean, and some of that, some of that crap is just crazy. And then I know people that use that patch, and they continue smoking when they had the patch on, and they over nicking themselves, man. I mean, that's dangerous. Politicians and shit, they don't tell you nothing about that. They don't, they don't mention that. Do they? No, they don't. Well, I used to smoke that bad. I mean, I was hooked so bad. I'd get up in the middle of it, wake up coughing my guts out. I mean, really bad. I'd sit on the edge of the bed and cough and cough and cough with my head between my knees and I would cough up black crap out of my lungs and what would I do after I get after I get done coughing so I could breathe fairly good again I'd get up and I'd go to the bathroom pee or whatever you know and I'd come back and I'd sit down on the edge of the bed and I'd light up I'd smoke another cigarette before I went back to bed I was hopelessly hooked on cigarettes on nicotine like I said, I, back then, we didn't have none of the pills and all that stuff. And I went cold turkey. I, I quit. With sheer willpower. Why? I probably would have never done it, but I had young babies then. Nothing will make you stop and think about something like that until one of you, or two, one or two of your children come up to you and say, Daddy, please stop smoking. And that's what happened to me. And it had a big impact on me, <laughs> to say the least. A little child like that worried about my welfare. So I had to tell you something. And I quit. And today, I'm nicotine free. I don't have no nicotine in me today. And I know you're gonna say, well, why in the hell, did you, why the hell are you vaping then? Well, I vape because I like it. I vape zero nicotine juice. The, I'm still nicotine free. I have no nicotine in my body. I don't have to vape. I do it because I like it. Well, you're going to say, why the hell do you like that if you ain't getting no nicotine out of it? Well, for those 30 years or however many years, a long time ago since I quit smoking, I've missed something. It's psychological, I know, but I like to think of myself as a sensitive person. I'm, I'm, I'm a sensitive person. Uh, it's not something I'm, most men will tell you, but I will, because I tell you anything. I'm, I'm not bashful. I can cry over the drop of a hat. I mean, I know you're gonna think that's weak, but you can think whatever the hell you want. I can't go to a funeral. I cannot go to a funeral because I'll cry like a goddamn baby, and I, I, I'm so embarrassed by it. Why do I? Why am I like that? Why does this happen? I don't know, but I just do. Same thing with the, going back with paranormal crap. I can sense spirits around me. I know I can sense them. My mom died. I had her here for 10 years, her actually, because I wouldn't let her go. Me and her were so close, and I just wasn't ready to let her go. And I had her here for 10 years. And I knew every time she came around me. <clears throat> it's like old Steve Huff says, you know, you get that electric feeling. He can sense them. I can sense them. I know damn well I can sense them. You get a rush of electricity. It goes from your head down to your toes or toes up to your head. It's just an electric rush. And I know when they're around. So I'm sensitive. And when you're sensitive, a sensitive person is uh, high strung. <laughs> I mean, I get excited over nothing. I mean, I mean, I, you know, I'm high strung. Uh, and when you're high strung, you get bored easy. I mean, it's easy to get bored, you know? You gotta have something to keep yourself busy. And smoking used to do that. I used to keep myself busy. <sighs> Give me something to do with my hands. <sighs> you know, uh, I didn't miss the smoke or the nicotine. I missed the act, the act, the actual act, the physical act of smoking. I know it's gonna sound dumb, but some people it won't. And that's what I missed. So when I happened across this on vaping on the internet, 
Ain't that a internet a wonderful thing, by the way? <laughs> it can change your life in a drop of a hat. Uh, here's an example. Grumpy Cat. That woman put a couple pictures on Reddit of that cat. And they went viral. She quit work and today she's a multi-millionaire. Because of that damn cat. A dwarf. A cat with dwarfism. One day she's unknown. Now she's a multi-millionaire. All happened because of the internet. I mean, the internet's crazy. <laughs> but I see people vaping, you know. I happened to run across it. And I said, damn. I can smoke again. And I don't have to have no nicotine. It looks like you're smoking. And I was overwhelmed, man. That was cool. And I tried it. And then after I tried it, I really got hooked. Why? Because it not only let me smoke without smoke, all the flavors of that damn juice you buy are wonderful. And that's one of the reasons, of, another of the reasons of the politicians, oh, the kids are, are going to do that and get nicotine and all that shit because, oh, they got bubblegum flavors and all this shit and all that. It's not for kids. It's for adults. You can't buy the juice unless you're 18. Nowadays, they got childproof caps on them. If you're a responsible adult, you don't leave that shit laying around where the kids can get it because you know it's poison if you drink it. You put it up. Same way you do with a gun. You don't leave a gun laying around for a kid to grab either. So it's just more of the politicians' bullshit to try to get the money. That's what it's all about is money. Let's ban them things and we'll get our kickbacks from the big tobacco companies. Well, that's bullshit. But anyway, you know you can vape and... Still smoke, but it ain't smoke. It's water vapor. It's made out of glycerin. Two types of, two different types of glycerin. And a flavoring. And nicotine. They're all food grade stuff they're made out of. And nothing's been proven yet to say they're harmful to you. Uh, of course, they're going to say the nicotine is, but it's, it's habit forming. Yes, it is. So it's caffeine. How many freaks do you know? How many freaks out there do you know that drink 50 damn cups of coffee a day? <laughs> Politicians don't say nothing about that, do they? No. But they're really down on this nicotine. It's a vice. It's a. You get hooked on nicotine, you're hooked. I mean, some people have, have said it's as bad as a. Uh, heroin or cocaine or something you know it's a really really addicting and I don't I don't say it's not but uh, the reason I want people to vape my friends to vape when they get off the cigarettes is because of the cancer producing stuff in the tobacco when you burn it 4,000 different chemicals you're putting in your lungs when you smoke a cigarette tires and I'm going to probably murder this word, carcinogens that cause cancer. You're taking that in your lungs every time you take a drink. And uh, I think they, I read somewhere today where 4 million, 4 million people die each year from smoking cancer, from smoking. Uh... <laughs> I'm not saying that uh, you won't get cancer if you stop smoking. A lot of people get cancer that never smoked. But it's sure going to make your damn chances a lot better. And there's a lot of benefits to vaping over smoking. Let me try and go through some of the benefits. Number one is, of course, lengthening your life. Number two, how would you like to be able to breathe again? I mean, actually breathe again. Maybe be able to run again have some lung capacity again it'll happen if you start vaping how would you like your sense of taste to come back that's right your sense of taste you think you still got one stop smoking start vaping and find out how much better it is after you do the money you're gonna save a lot cheaper than smoking uh, there's more reasons. How about stinking? 
You won't stink like them nasty cigarettes no more. Your car won't stink like nasty cigarettes no more. You won't have stinking ashtrays laying around your house. You won't have to deal with the ashes. You won't have to buy lighters. <laughs> I can just go on and on and on. If you roll your cigarettes, you know you don't have to fart around buying tobacco and papers and sitting there for how long to roll cigarettes. You won't have to do that no more. Sure, vaping, there's an initial cost. There's an initial cost in anything you do. But it far outweighs the cost of smoking. Uh, when I quit smoking back, however long ago it was, 25, 30 years, whatever the hell it was. Uh, back then, I always think I was paying just a little over $2 a pack back then. Uh, when I first started smoking, I think they were like 27 cents, 30 cents for a pack of cigarettes. And then uh, I think when I quit, it was like tw well, a little over two bucks. And back then they were giving, the cigarette companies were giving you things to get you to buy their cigarettes, to buy more of their cigarettes. You buy two packs, you get a free keychain. You buy two packs, you get a, you get a, a coffee cup. Shit like that. You, I don't know if you remember that or not, but you used to buy, you know, a couple packs and they'd give you a free gift. <laughs> well, nowadays, I seen it, my son was over here the other day and it's been so long since I smoked, you know, I don't know nothing about the prices of them and stuff. And I seen something, a big sale thing or something on the internet and it was like $58 for a carton. And I told my son, I said, oh my God. He says, that's cheap. I said, what do you mean that's cheap? He says, hell, there's $78, $80 for a carton. I says, you're shitting me. He says, no. And that's prices around here. Somebody told me in New York it's completely crazy. Somebody told me it was like $15 for a pack of cigarettes in, the, in New York. Like in an airport terminal or something. I don't know. That, that's just completely crazy to spend that kind of money for something that's possibly going to kill you. That's like going over and seeing Dr. Death and paying him to uh, put you out of your misery prematurely. So, I wanted to make this to all my friends and invite them to try vaping. Uh, let's get to the, the cheapness. Bottle of juice. 30 mils. Childproof cap. Most all of them have childproof caps now. Some of them don't come in a uh, glass bottle. Some of them come in plastic. Ooh, there's the camera. Oh, here it is. Some of them come in plastic in plastic bottles. But for a 30 mil bottle like that, they they say it's two equal to two or three cartons of cigarettes, depending on how much you vape. You know, uh, if you're a chain vapor, you know it might not last you that long. But the most expensive juice you can buy is like $25 for a 30 ml bottle. Most of them are usually quite, that, that's for really primo, primo stuff. You know, elite primo goodness. You buy a regular 30 ml bottle of juice and uh, it's usually under $20. You can get it for $12, $12 and something. Depends, you know. Some places even, lately it's even been getting cheap. So, sorry. Uh, so ain't that a lot better than <laughs> paying for cigarettes, a lighter, stinking, uh, can't breathe. And the, uh, the thing about this juice is, uh, you can get it in any flavor you can think of. I mean, it's just, you, me sit here and tell you, I can't tell you, you have no idea. I've got some Israeli coffee. I've got pistachio ice cream. I've got extreme ice, which is a super heavy duty menthol. Uh, I've got lemon meringue pie. I've got spiced pumpkin pie. Uh, this is a uh, called blood blood bath. Actually, it's a uh, like a fruit fruit uh, punch. Uh, <laughs> I've got custard. You can get custards, coffees, drinks. You can get like alcoholic type drinks, uh, margarita, 
mojito, uh, bourbon, brandy, and you get tobacco, all different types of tobacco, cigar, uh, tobacco with maple in it, tobacco with honey in it, tobacco with bourbon in it, tobacco, tobacco with rum in it. Uh, <laughs> I just can't tell you. It's uh, you can get fruit flavors, strawberry, blueberry, <laughs> dragon fruit, uh, just lemon, lemon lime, anything you could possibly, possibly think of, and they're damn good. I mean, they're all good, but some you're gonna like better than others, and you're gonna keep buying, go back to that flavor you, that you like. You know, they got peanut butter, they got peanut butter and banana. They call it Elvis. They got. Uh, <laughs> bubble gum. They got all this different shit. And that's one of the big things. Another thing is the politicians are bitching about. Oh, them damn flavors. That's for kids. And kids are going to get in that stuff. And, you know, it's not for kids. It's for adults. We're adults. That's what it's for. That's what it's for. Got to be 18 to buy it. Got childproof caps on it so they can't drink the shit. But that's the first thing a politician wants to tell you is, oh, they're gonna, kids are going to get a hold of that. And uh, oh, it smells good. And they're going to drink it. And it's going to kill them. It's not if you're a responsible parent. You wouldn't leave a damn gun laying out on the table for him, would you? Well, you shouldn't leave this shit laying out on the table for him. You put it up out of their reach. If you're any kind of a damn parent. Politicians don't tell you that. <laughs> they just want to get their hand in your damn pocket. They want to get their hand in the pocket of the vaping community. Because vaping is a multi-billion dollar industry. And it's growing. And cigarettes... Are going down the down the hole. That's where that's where cigarettes are going. Less and less people are smoking. More and more people are vaping. They're getting smart. That's what I want you to do. If you're my friend, get smart. Vape. Don't smoke. Quit taking in all them cancer-producing chemicals in your body every time you take a drag. There's over four thousand of them. Don't do it no more. I don't tell people to quit smoking. I just tell them to start vaping. If you like your nicotine, hey, more power to you. I'm not telling you to get off of nicotine. Just get off the damn cigarettes and get on the vaping. You still get your nicotine. Uh, you, you still take care of your cravings. The nicotine will. Because that's what gives you the cravings is the nicotine. And when you buy that juice, you can buy it at different strengths. 36, 24, 18, 12, uh, 6, 3, 0. I'm at zero. I've always been at zero. I don't, don't have no nicotine at all. But when you start out vaping, you should start out with a high nicotine level. Why? Because if you buy too low in nicotine, it's not going to take care of your cravings, and you're going to go right back to the damn stinky cigarettes again. So you want to start out high with your nicotine. If you smoke a pack or two packs a day, start out with 24 mg for your nicotine level. And then if you if you smoke if you vape too much and it give you you get a nicotine buzz so it'll give you a damn buzz. If you do that, you know your nicotine level is too high for how much you vape. So next time you don't get 24g, you get 18. And when you get to the right level, it's not going to bother you. You're still going to your cravings going to be taken care of, and it, and you're not going to get a buzz off it. Then you're at the right level. <clears throat> but after you vape that for a long while, you may find that you can step down a level. Go from 18 down to 12. See if it still satisfies your craving. If it does, you've stepped down. You're putting less nicotine. And that's how they do it. That's how they quit. They step down. And uh, until they get to zero. Some people stop when they get to zero. They don't vape no more. Some people do. Because they like it. They still like smoking. Like, you know. That's why I like vaping. Uh, you say, well, why the hell do you vape here on zero nick? Well, because I like it. It takes care of my physical thing. And I still get the vape. I still get the like smoke, but it's not smoke. It's just water vapor. And you get all them wonderful flavors. <laughs> That's why I do it. So I guess I've covered just about anything, everything. I don't know. Uh, if you do start... Uh, don't start with them damn blue cigarette things you can buy in gas stations. They're junk. Ain't no good. And they got them little little pens are a little about this tall. And they got a little tiny battery, round battery, and a little tiny little tank in the top. 
they ain't worth a shit either. They're better than nothing. They're better than them little blues and shit that look like cigarettes, but... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. If you're going to start out, get something like this. This is called an eye stick. Eye leaf eye stick. And you can find them on the internet. And the... Uh... Well, I don't know. I know it's not going to work. But anyway... Uh... There's a little battery there, and it shows your voltage and your wattage, and it shows I got set 10 watts, and you can click the button, go up or down, it's 9.432, and you can go up or down, it goes from like, I don't know what the hell it goes from, but it goes up to 20 watts, and uh, you charge it, a little mini, plug there on the bottom and the other end plugs into your into your computer five volts you know charges it or you can plug it in one of them little power supplies you know they're five volts like your phone and plug it into there and it'll charge it and uh, it costs right around 35 bucks for that battery but it, if you don't smoke a hell of a lot you don't change vape it'll last you for a day day and a half before you have to charge it again it's really a nice outfit and then this little tanker guy in here is one of the best tanks around right now. It's called a Aspire Nautilus Mini. Uh, and it produces a lot of good vapor. Works this small, little tiny compact thing, you, can, you know, and good for women. You can buy this little batting bite in pink or blue or silver or black. And, uh, I think that tank costs around $25, $30. So you may have $60, $65 invested. But that's not much in the scheme of things if you stop and think about it. And then another 20 for your juice to get you started. And then once you get this thing, you know you don't need any. All you need is your juice from then on. But it's a hell of a lot cheaper than them cigarettes. And it's a hell of a lot better for you. Then as you get, you know, more advanced, you get into bigger stuff. <laughs> this thing here is pretty, pretty uh, big time here. Of course, this, it should, it turns into a hobby. And pretty soon you won't have one of these devices. You'll have a whole bunch of them because you get lazy about screwing the tank off, putting another one on to change your flavors. You, you get a device for every damn flavor that you like. And pretty soon you got four or five, <laughs> four or five, six, seven devices laying here with different different flavor in each one. When you want that flavor, you just grab the device. That's what I do. This one here is uh, really advanced. It's like, a, it's 100 watts. This thing's powerful. It's got two batteries in it. And this tank is uh, very powerful. It's not for beginners. Because you can actually choke yourself on vapor with this thing. Uh, I'll give you an example. I can take four or five hits off of this and smoke and fog my whole room up. <laughs> but that's about all I got. And I just wanted to make sure that, uh, boy, did I tell you about uh, some of the other benefits? You won't stink. Your car won't stink. No stinky ashtrays. Cheaper. Uh, all the wonderful flavors. You can still get your nicotine fix and without the cancer causing chemicals in your lungs, you'll be able to breathe again. Your taste will come back and you'll love the taste of things again. So be prepared, be prepared to gain weight or go on a diet at the same time you start vaping. <laughs> Actually, I've lost weight, some weight since I started because I got uh, pistachio ice cream. I got uh, lemon ring pie. I got spiced pumpkin pie. Uh, <laughs> I got vanilla custard. I got some Israeli coffee. Extreme ice. That's uh, super duper heavy menthol. You can get anything you want, flavor wise. And uh, it's great. It's a great alternative. And especially great because it may save your life. 
So that's why I made this one. All my friends to give it a try. If you haven't given it a try, please do. And if it works for you and you and you quit them damn stinking cigarettes and you move over to vaping, let me know that I had something to do with it. I'd really love to know that. I've had four or five people already contact me and thank me for getting them to try it. So this is my big ass long video for today. Uh, uh, you may catch me with a paranormal one here in a day or two. But I, I've been wanting to make this, and I've been wanting to try and entice my friends to lengthen their lives. And uh, that would make me really happy if you did. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to get out of here now. I've already taken enough time of your life. If, <laughs> if you've watched this, more power to you, man. I know it's a long one here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.